Now this top section has to be blended with this one and it's going to be that color, uh, the value gray fix, but I'm going to blend it a tiny bit with the um, oyster beige. Oyster beige and so starting with the oyster beige and value 6 so that we can connect that in there. The oyster beige is the one that is going to go next to that line. So put the oyster beige in this line in here and the two gray the gray plus the oyster beige on this other one and I will be right back. I want to um make sure that this looks like this is part of this. So I'm just gonna put I'm gonna dry it and I and I'm gonna I'm gonna finish putting the oyster beige in here and I'm gonna dry it and and we're gonna fix that. Now this area that we are painting with the oyster beige is the inside of the cup and that's why we wanted it to be a um, different color. The outside edge is going to be lighter so we want to paint the outside edge, edge with the... Um, let's put the oyster beige plus white for the outside edge. So this outside edge will be painted with oyster beige plus white. This outside edge in here. Tiny bit more of the oyster oyster beige. If you paint that and you can adjust if you think you have painted the the oyster beige is not the side it's supposed to be. We're gonna shade and highlight but we want to have first uh, the colors that we need in place. So I'm gonna paint this outside edge with this color Okay, let's continue. Painting this outside edge with this color and we will then put other colors. I didn't, I'm going to use uh, pebbles for the darker sections of the inside. 
so we're putting pebbles and we're gonna blend this with the oyster beige pebbles plus oyster beige more of the pebbles I prefer um, doing it this way and, and blending colors in here so this color is gonna go only up to here so there we blend with the oyster beige and make that disappear and you may need to use your mop a tiny bit if you need to there and I'm gonna do the same on the other side on this side pebble plus the oyster beige and darken this section And when I get to there, I start making it disappear, blending with the previous color, which was the oyster beige. I put some extender. I have to clean my brush off. I have to remove the water and put some extender and blot it and then I got go to that um, oyster beige plus pebbles and blend this section in here then I'm gonna finish um, putting the border again with the oyster beige plus white on the edge we have to blend with the uh, gray plus oyster beige on the edge. That's why I was not to worry about that um, background showing because the edge had to be blended with these. continue working my ash with the oyster beige plus white and put too much white because we're going to highlight with white Now we want we wanted this to look like this is part of so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the glazy medium I'm gonna glaze this in here and I'm gonna take that gray plus the white and Place this like this. And 
and blend it with a mop. We need to put that color in here. It didn't have the extender there and it needs to have the extender there. Let's put some extender in here. So that can, we can blend out those colors. Still, it looks too. So I'm just going to base coat it with a lighter color and start working it so that it looks part. Um. As always, I'm working this for the first time on for the first time and, and then you have to be looking at my adjustments. It's hard for me to paint uh, things twice, so I used to do it for seminars, but I think Artists don't like to paint the same things twice because they like um, excited to paint something new and having to be painting the same thing is um, kind of boring. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons I prefer doing um, painting um, for the first time the object um, even though you're gonna see all my <laughs> adjustment to make this look the way I want to but at the end I'm painting new pieces every time. <coughs> I think it looks softer now. And um, we have to finish with the oyster basing here. And we're gonna put a tiny bit of the gray in there. <coughs> I need to turn that air condition off because it's making me cough. And I'm gonna be right back blending that um, gray that I put in there with the oyster beige. So we are putting, and I think I may have to put uh, new paints because they're, they are drying on me. Uh, so this is the oyster beige and we were gonna, we were trying to blend it with the medium value gray. Medium value gray in there. I'm gonna put the oyster beige. I'm gonna put fresh paint and I will be right back. Okay, this is the oyster beige. And it's looking too close to that um, that other one, and I want I don't want to lose that um, line. 
So let's go again on top of that with the white. A glaze of white. Yes, we need to put the grating here, and we need to put the grate so that the it doesn't mix. Okay, so let's put the oyster beige in here. And we're gonna blend with the, we're gonna blend the top section with the gray. Then we need to take some of the gray on our brush and blend in the in there with the with the gray. I'm gonna take the oyster beige with the pebbles and just blend that in there. Taking oyster beige with a tiny bit of that value gray and make it in here. Tiny bit more of that uh, gray number six. Then on the lower section is more of the oyster beige. Let's blend that in there. If you don't like this method, you can all always um, do some float, so you you float that gray on the top. But I think this method is easier. Now this value gray, I'm gonna make um, a darker, a tiny bit. But before I do that, I'm gonna put uh, some extender to keep it moist and now I'm going to float
that gray I'm gonna flow that gray I think I need to put extender on the brush because uh, my paints and are getting dry okay so I'm gonna float on the edge tiny bit on the edge I may need to repeat that flow but I'm not gonna do it yet now I want to highlight I'm going to take fresh white <coughs> and I'm going to highlight um, a tiny bit in here let me just wet it with the extender And I'm gonna float in here. I'm gonna do a back to back float of white in here where I turn my brush and flow the other side. And I'm gonna also use a mop. Then I'm going to also float this white in there. Okay. Let's take a tiny bit of I need a small brush for that. We're going to put a, as a small section in here of the oyster beige. You can hardly see it where I put it. value 3 plus value 6 and I'm just going to float a tiny bit in here and this color is too dark I'm gonna mop that when you mop you mop the edges I'm gonna mop both edges the top edge and the lower edge
and ending that in there. Okay, I think I want to mm, float some of that um, pebbles in here. No, I didn't like that. Think maybe up to there. I think the cream. This is the sand. Have to go a tiny bit more in here. It's like. You cannot tell, you should not be able to tell where it starts or ends. So make sure that you don't have any hard edges. You cannot tell where the cream or the cup because they're both light and you cannot tell where they end. It all combines together. We need to do another coat of that. Going to take oyster beige and fill in the remainder. And this is not it's it's um big brush and it's getting is holding too much water. Make sure you don't lose that uh, dark section in there. You can do, you can put back some of that gray color and blend. It's fun blending wet and wet. It's a lot of fun. Okay, let's um, redo that ash with the oyster beige plus white. I think I'm going to use a smaller brush. Oyster beige plus white. And I'm going to put another coat on that uh, border. And we'll be right back. Okay, I had to dry it because I was uh, putting my hands on, on things that were wet. Um, so I completely dried it and I am not too pleased with this in here so I'm light I'm gonna lighten that a tiny bit with the gray number six plus oyster beige. <laughs> 